Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question one. This is the first section of the mechanics section, so it's probably about question six in the paper. At time t seconds, where t is greater than or equal to zero, a particle p moves at the velocity v meters per second. It's given by v equals 6ti minus 5t to the power of 3 over 2j. When t equals zero, the position vector of p is minus 20i plus 20j meters. Find the acceleration of p when t equals 4. So here we're going to use the, the differential of displacement is velocity, and the differential of velocity is acceleration. We're going to use this last part here. The differential of velocity is acceleration. So what I'm going to do here is differentiate velocity. And I'm going to differentiate each of these independent functions here and here. So it's going to be 6 i and then it's going to be minus times the power to the front so 15 over 2 t to the power of a half j and this is precisely when t equals 4 so now what I'll do is I'll substitute in t equals 4 so that's going to be a equals 6 i minus um, 15 j because we'll have to do the square root of 4 first, that's 2, that'll cancel out the 2 on the bottom, so it's just 15j. So there we are, that's our answer for part A. Let's move on to part B now, the position vector of v when t equals 4. So what we need to do now is to get from velocity back to displacement to get the position vector. So in that case, we're going to have to integrate. We're going to have to integrate 6ti minus 5 t to the power of 3 over 2 j uh, with respect to t. So let's go ahead and do that then. So increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, 3 t squared i minus, increase the power by 1, that's 5 over 2, divide by divide 5 by that, so it's going to be 2 t to the power of 5 over 2 j, and then there's going to be a plus c. Now the c is going to be a vector, it's going to be part i and part j. This is the position vector, x. Uh, so what it says here is that when t equals 0, p is at position vector minus 20i plus 20j. So let's substitute that in then, t equals 0, and x equals minus 20i plus 20j. So that's going to be minus 20i plus 20j equals c, because when t is 0, that expression there will become 0. When t is 0, this expression here will become 0. So c is minus 20i plus 20j. So therefore, the final answer is, well, actually, no, the final, the final expression is going to be x equals... 3t squared, now I'll group my i's together, I've got this amount of i's here, and this amount of i's here, so it's 3t squared minus 20 on the i component, and then um, minus 2t to the power of 5 over 2, plus 20 on the j component, and now all I need to do is now substitute in t equals 4, to get my answer for the position vector. So it's going to be x equals um, 4 squared is 16 times by 3 is 48. 48 minus 20 is 28i. And then um, t 4 to the power of 5 over 2, that would be 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 minus 2 is minus 64. Um, and then add 20, that would be minus 44. Minus 44j. And there we are, that's the position vector of p when t equals 4. And there we are, that's the answer to the first of these mechanics questions here, worth a total of 6 marks. Let's now move on to the second mechanics question.